Hey y'all, wake up, man. It's called the barber. So the conversation always comes up. You know, the one where we determine if we're gonna charge the same price for kids and adults, right? So my logic on the situation is me personally, I charge less for kids and teenagers as well. Kids are different price than teenagers than adults. You know, some of these kids' heads big as the damn adults' heads. You know, um, for a barber to charge less for kids or teenagers than adults is strictly a form of charity. We trying to look out for the younger adults who may be independent, you know, maybe just getting their first job or whatever. You don't want the haircut to be too expensive for them. Maybe still in high school. And we looking out for the single moms who may be, you know, maybe they, they're the only um, uh, provider of the child, you know, especially if you see them bringing a, a kid in the shop by themselves all the time, you know, you know she's a single mom. And it's just a form of charity. We, we we looking out because at the end of the day, the kids, the teenagers, it's the the haircuts take the exact uh, same amount of effort and time as an adult. And sometimes the kids are even worse because they always move in in the chair. You understand? We actually should charge more for some of these young kids because. They always moving, and they'll sometimes they'll make you uh, overlap one of your appointments because they taking too long. And if that's the case, we should charge more for them. If if a barber is charging for his time, then we actually should charge more for for kids. You know, some kids moving and moving their neck and all that crazy stuff. You know, but granted, some kids' heads are smaller, but it's the same work. You got a lot of people that come in that don't understand haircuts, don't understand blending, fading, and straight lines, and all of that. And they'll have a two-year-old that's wiggling and moving, still got the, the baby hair, the little thin hair. You know, his hair hasn't grew in fully yet, and, they'll, uh, uh, and it's after the first haircut. And they'll ask, uh, they'll show you a picture of a, a, a mohawk or a drop fade with the curl sponge on the top. You know, some grown man haircut, and they'll show you the picture of one that's clearly a grown man or a teenager, and they want this on a two-year-old's head with soft, uh, thin, textured hair because they're still a baby. And you you can, couldn't possibly do that. But some of us barbers would try, and that's, that's extremely difficult for a ball to try to put a grown man haircut on a two-year-old whose head isn't grew in fully, who's gonna move, and whose hair hasn't grew in to its uh, full thickness. That is extremely hard. So we actually should charge more for kids' haircuts because it's really an impossible job to put these grown man haircuts on kids. We just get close to it as possible you know so some barbers don't uh they charge the exact some barbers charge the exact same price for kids and adults and i'm not mad at that you know i'm not mad at that at all i'm not because at the end of the day it takes the same amount of effort you know the same amount of skill the same amount of time because it's blending fading and edging up. It's the same thing, you know, and sometimes they want a style, which is the curl sponge on top or whatnot. And even when it comes to like the uh, uh, kids with straight hair, like a Hispanic, a Mexican or Asian kid or something, it's, it's the straight hair, the comb overs. It's the same amount of effort as an adult. So really it should be charged the same. And if the kid is giving the person a hard time and they overlapping, you overlapping appointments to try to get this job done. 
should charge more if we're charging for time, you know, as we should be, you know, we charge for time and value, you know. So if you want to charge the same amount for kids and adults, don't feel bad about it. It takes the same amount of time and effort. But if you want to do some charity work, you do like me. Make it like $5 cheaper or something. You know what I'm saying? You make it $5 cheaper for a team. $10 cheaper for uh, a, a smaller child. You know? It's just charity. You're looking out, right? And granted, there ain't no charity when your bills do. Ain't no charity when your booth rent do. You know? But... You know, as as a barber, me personally, if y'all look at my Instagram and y'all y'all can tell, like I do community work, you know, as much as I can with my time, and that's one of the things that I do on a regular. You know, I'm not giving it for free, but I'm just charging less. I'm looking out for the the moms and and the young adults, you know. But if you do, like I said, if you do charge. Um, the same price for kids and adults hey that's perfect ain't nothing wrong with that don't feel bad about that you know and some barbers that's why some barbers don't even cut kids because they eradicate the whole problem you know they just say i don't cut kids and there's a lot of people salty about a lot of barbers that's not cutting kids but when you uh want us to cut your kid you asking for the same work it takes for, for an adult, but then you want me to charge you less because it's a kid. And that is extremely, uh, that's extremely, um, it's an impossible job, like I said, but that's tough. That's tough for barbers. It's real tough. And, and our time, is 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 in, in skill and, and, and experience and value is what you're paying for. We put that same time, experience, and value into that kid's cut, so it should be the same price. And some people don't mind; they just pay the price. It is what it is, you know. But if you're looking for the cheaper barber, looking for the cheaper price, either it's a barber doing charity work like me, or it's a barber that that's probably not that good, then you're gonna be disappointed because your two-year-old soft of friends don't look like uh, uh, Usher's soft of friends, you know? Then you're gonna go write bad reviews and try to blast them on social media when the cut was impossible in the first place and you tried to get a cheaper price on it, you know? So, hey, charge what you charge, man. You know, so it's all about you. You want to do charity work? Or you gonna charge for your time, man? You dog. Um, Barber Sweet Success GMZ book link in the bio. Buy it or not, whatever. I stay book. Y'all like the video? Comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. These videos dropping every day for barbers, so stay locked in, man. Y'all want to miss none of this free game, and most importantly, y'all wake y'all asses up.